Hi, good morning. Yeah, these super poles are expected to be busy, but good news. Everything is moving quickly and smoothly out here in El Cajon. As you can see, there was a line early around 7 a.m., but right now nobody in line, people just waiting and things moving really smoothly. I talked to one of the polling officials out here earlier and she said yesterday they saw things pick up around 5 p.m. We had a short line at 7 a.m. this morning, so a lot of people getting their votes in early and then maybe just coming after their workday has ended if they're not working from home. Maybe they're going into their workplace now and then coming right afterwards. So that's what we're expecting again out here today. But some really good news for people who are at home and they're wondering if it's going to take a while to go to the polls today. Things are moving really quickly, really smooth. So keep in mind, all registered voters were sent a mail in ballot this year due to the pandemic, but many people want to do their civic duty in person and on election day. So that's what we'll likely see today. It's the fourth and final day for voting at these super polling locations, and there are 235 polling locations around the county. Make sure to check your location, your exact location as you need to show up at your specific polling place. But what should you expect when you show up the polls today? It'll be much like a grocery store and essential workplace you visited throughout the pandemic with social distancing cues in place for the line, as well as a requirement to wear your mask while you're in line and inside. Election officials suggest bringing your sample ballot and make sure that it's filled out so it takes less time while you're inside the voter booth, helping with wait times. We talked to some people who came out today to cast their ballot. Take a listen. I just like coming to the polls. I really do. I like to, I appreciate all the people who also um, volunteered their time to come out. And um, I don't know, I feel like it's more official for me, even though it's the same. I never received the mail-in ballot, so I decided to come down and vote. So what happened, I have no idea. Was it fine in there? Easy, quick? Yeah, it was fine. It was fine. I feel like you did your civic duty. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have a degree in this, so I better come and vote or I'm not worth the piece of paper I'm written on, so yeah. It, it's just something we've always, always done. We like being anything. here in person and doing it. So a lot of different reasons for people showing up voting today. They just want to make sure that their vote is cast and that their voice is heard. A record number of San Diegans showing up to vote. We have more than a million people who have cast their ballots so far and a record number um, a doubling what we saw in 2016. And we're supposed to see uh, more than 300,000 people show up at the polls today. So while this super polling place may not have a long line or a lot of people right now, uh, you know, that doesn't necessarily mean that your polling place won't have a line. So throughout the day, it should be smooth than steady, um, but some places might be busier than other, others. I know Raul, I showed up yesterday to my polling place because I wanted to see what the experience was going to be like as I'm talking to you um, and our viewers today, and it was very easy. I didn't even have to wait in a line, and everything sure. was uh, almost smoother than you would expect on a normal year. So people shouldn't be intimidated if they're waking up this morning and thinking that they're going to have to wait in a long line or nervous about the pandemic and going to the polls. Yeah, when